uh, she was she was a you know brilliant designer um, and was um, expanded into um, uh, particularly into uh, sort of high society design quite quickly. Um, and the VNA has her uh, a sketchbook, a full sketchbook of her 1905 collection. Um, and you can see from this, these are all the fabric samples that you can see that she's that have been pinned to the pages. Um, you can see how detailed um, these dresses are. They were uh, they were particularly her sort of uh, pre 1910 dresses were were really elaborate. Um, but she was one of the things that she was quite in. One thing that was innovative about her was that she worked across fashion and costume. Um, so she also designed for the stage. She really was interested in movement um, and character. She named her dresses. So you can see this one's called Intention. Um, so she had quite a theatrical bent. And she translated that into um, the first catwalk show. Um, so that was staged in 1904. Um, uh, and it was really quite a revelation. It, she, she, um, it had music. Um, and these, these are some much later pictures, um, but um, so these are about 10 years after her first show, one in the garden at Hanover Square. So you can see all these ladies sort of posing around and some society ladies in the bottom right sort of sitting, looking on, all obviously still in their hats. Um, uh, and so this was um, incredibly uh, sort of successful and copied very quickly by all of the other uh, big houses. Um, and with that um, boost, she thought, right, well, I'm just going to go for it. And she expanded to um, New York um, and then to Paris, uh, which made her the first international couturier. So she is sort of recognised with that uh, role. Um, 